Yes, the boys, good morning. Let me short Tom Aspinall up. Sorry, Tom, I do love you. Whilst we're on that, Tom Aspinall winning this weekend, and I love them both. I'm sad, I love both of them. Also, it's only been like a week, and I need a trim again already. So, Lucy, I'm calling you up. Haircut is needed. We've got an exciting day, boys. We're off a push now. No, we're not. We're off a pull now. So we're looking forward to that. I'm going to talk you through that session. I'm going to show you how we can get an absolute whammo back to start. So that's, what's that? That's the appetizer. That's that's for starters today. Actually, we'll go, nothing's really the main course. What's that called when you have like different food? You know what I mean? I can't think. Tapas? Am I chatting? I think I'm chatting waffle. You know what I'm saying, boys, anyway. So we've got the coaching Coliseum clothing order to pick up. Now that is a big fat monster order. I think I've got four boxes full of clothes for the boys, which is mental. Like the fact that there's actually that many, like I've not made any profit off this clothing. Like that is literally just what I wanted to have for the boys available there. And that's what we've got. So we've got t-shirts, we've got hoodies. I'm gonna show you them, I've not seen them yet. If you watch the last videos, you'll see I got the my, my logo in gold. So I got the coaching Coliseum in gold, but I've just got that in white just because gold, that's my logo color. So I thought, oh yeah, I'm getting my logo. But then when I've actually got it on, I'm like, mm, I don't, gold doesn't really go with much. It can look a little bit cheaper. So I was like, mm, nah, we'll go for white. So I reckon we'll go for a few little colors, but we're gonna start with white in this order. So I'm excited to get that out to everyone because the fact that I've got clothing going out to all around the country, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, four different countries, right? That is just absolutely like, insane that i've even got anything to organize doing that like, yes like it's nothing to do with money i'm not making one pound off doing this like i'm even i'm paying my own money to do this if anything for the deliveries but the fact that i can actually do that and and the boys actually you know want to wear that clothing and they're going to be repping that in in different gyms around the country in in different countries like it's absolutely mad and like even working with people from different countries like We've had Australia, America, Israel, uh, we've got Sweden, we've got Spain, we've got all over all over the place now. We've had Italy, like it's crazy. So it is mad and I always make sure I do kind of just appreciate that because I started PTing, right, when I was 17 just to, well 18 just 18 it was an absolute struggle for ages ages and working with people getting them results is what i've always wanted to do that's why I, as, as soon as i was in college my second year of college god was non-existent i was just there just because i had to be there so my mum didn't disown me that was literally the only reason why i was at college because i knew I'm finishing college, starting PT and straight away. Like that's what I knew. I th well, I thought I wanted to be a PT. Obviously now I could think of nothing worse than doing in the gym floor PT in anymore. And the first four years of that more were an absolute struggle. Like I 100% know why a ridiculous amount of people who start PT and stop because it's hard it's very very hard like it sounds glamorous it's awful hours you work for yourself you've got nobody to help you you've got to do everything so when you don't know what you're doing of course it's very difficult so what do most people do they just stop but I never ever wanted to stop I always wanted to get done what I'm doing now and when the gym closed in COVID, they gave me three days notice in COVID, right? They rang me and said, Luke, so I'd built up my client base. They rang me and said, Luke, the gym is closing in three days. So three days notice, my whole, anything I'd built up was gone, completely scrapped. Nothing I could do about it. No one cares, done. So I was like, right, what the hell do I do here? Obviously in my mind, I've got the voice of, oh, just get a job, like just get, 
do whatever like I can't do anything else I'm just not good at anything else like if I had to go and get another job honestly I do not know what I do so I was like right there is no plan B I am not having a plan B I'm making this work however long it takes we're going so when you flip that switch like if you're wanting to do that now when you flip that switch and you just work your absolute arse off and I am talking like times of no balance whatsoever working your absolute arse off sometimes from 5 in the morning not finishing till 10 half 10 at night sometimes when I've had to do stuff moving like clients over to kahunas and stuff like that even longer than that every single minute that I'm not training or eating was literally doing something to do with that so that's why when I do something like this, I would have just loved to tell myself then, like anything like that now, like if I could tell myself when the gym closed that I'd be sending these off all around the country and I'm working with the boys that I'm working with now and we're getting the results that we're getting now, over a hundred transformations, ridiculous transformations, like it is mad and I always make sure that I do kind of notice it because I think when you're just pushing for help more people, help more people, help more people, more, 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 do this, do that, YouTube, everything, like, you can just kind of never be happy with it, because you're just constantly pushing for more, which I think is a fantastic place to be in, however, it's kind of a never-ending cycle, if you don't actually just sit and actually appreciate that, like, I like to sit and appreciate that, but then make sure I keep working, and the reason why I can do that is because I love coaching, I absolutely love it, so it's never a issue for me to graft, to work hard, that's just kind of, that's just life now, so that's basically a ramble on of why I'm excited to send some hoodies out, because it is a lot more to it than that, and it is to work for yourself and and get that done like by no means am i where you know i want to be and i've got visions of being in the future but to to not look at that would be completely stupid because it is hard let me tell you if you're looking to be a coach now or be a pt now i thought oh it sounds so glamorous like oh yeah you can choose your own hours this that like no completely no it's it is hard graft it is a lot of stress but it's very much worth it so that is what is happening today i'm currently stuck behind a tractor we are around 25 minutes away from the gym and i'm looking forward to a big old juicy pull session the gaining phase is going very well i'm close to a deload boys i'm i feel like this will be the last session and then i'll have four days because i'm pretty toasted to be honest um, but I think I've got enough in the tank just to get that smash. So I'll touch on D-Lows a little bit with how we're feeling in this session. But I think I've got uh, another one in me now to get nailed. So we will get to the gym, boys. I will turn the camera off. We do not want to crash. But we like the car talk. I got some good feedback on the, on the car talk last video. So if you enjoy the car talk, if you enjoy me rambling on about what's going on, then uh, let me know. This is my little my little mini car podcast in the videos. And a podcast is something, I'm rambling on again now, but a podcast is something that I would absolutely love to do. So if you are interested in a podcast of me talking about that stuff, talking about everything, a little bit of just the stuff I like, a little bit of training stuff, a little bit of mindset stuff, you can have that in your ears every week. If you'd be interested in that, make sure you let me know but let's get me to the gym. It has just started raining and we will have it, boys. I'm back. We're nearly on a thousand subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe. 1K is nothing, but it is something because again, I'd have been happy with that when we started this channel. So if you're not subscribed and you do watch the videos or you're watching this video, please just hit that because it helps me out massively and the videos will keep coming. So appreciate it, boys. Yes, the boys, we are at the gym is going in one tip to save you a lot of time in your day right guarantee you you pull up somewhere you whip this out and you just start scrolling you will save so much time if you just don't do that i go on my phone get back to the boys get out of my car get training do that don't waste time on your phone when you're doing your feeder sets in the gym you will waste so no you will save <laughs> so much time that you are wasting
I promise you. So when you pull up somewhere, don't go on it. In the gym, try and avoid just mindlessly scrolling. You're going to save a ton of time. That'll be a game changer for you, I promise you. I always take the lid off my pre, so I get every last little drop. Anyone else do that, or am I just a freak? Wouldn't surprise me if it's just me. Let's go in, get on the cable, pull down a nice metal bar, contract my lats. We'll do that twice to failure. It's all fun and games, boys, isn't it? Right, boys, we're in, warmed up. So we are starting with two sets, lat pull down. What to think about here, right? Spend time in both ranges. If you bounce out of the length and range, you'll probably just start yanking at it and you just lose that tension off your lats. Have a little pause at the top and have a pause at the bottom where you're actually actively contracting. So you'll see, I don't come into that eccentric until I've actually locked in that rep, right? I'm contracting hard, controlling, having a little pause at the top. That way, think why I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to nail my lats. So if I keep control and do that, my lats are going to be toasted. As long as I take it all the way there and progress that, lats are going to grow. So apply that to every single pull down. You can do this pull down at any gym. You can toast your lats with it. So onto the lat row, approaching these a little bit different now. You'll see I'm standing up. This is something that I first saw Nick Gloff doing. Now, if you don't know Nick Gloff, very, very clever, especially in the training department. I love his training. It's fantastic. I hit a bit of a brick wall with this one when I was seated. So I'm just trying that standing. I think I got that pretty much bang on. The angle felt, felt fantastic. And obviously on this, it's gonna drop off just so, so nice, especially with where we can load it. So in terms of a lat row, keeping biceps out of this, this is absolutely bang on. So I will definitely keep on running these like this because I've just done the two sets there and my lats feel absolutely smoked. So for a lap row, to be able to get that there, I'm very, very happy with that. So I'll be keeping them in like that. So if for whatever reason, Nick Gloff ever clicks on this video and watches this, nice one, Nick, because they were very nice. So, moving on to upper back work now. We've got probably, if I had to have one movement just for upper back, it would probably be this to be honest. Prime Extreme Room, we've got it loaded just to drop off as I get short, and then it's obviously going to get heavier in that lengthened where we're strongest. So, in terms of just toasting upper back, getting that upper arm back past behind me and then retracting as well. So allowing some protraction in the bottom, lengthen everything out, basically means that those shoulder blades coming forward, coming forward a little bit there, just to lengthen out everything, keeping control, not only driving that upper arm back, but retracting as well, squeezing everything back there. So put simply, you're basically doing half a shrug and a row upper back will be absolutely nailed. So normally I've got upper back and then rear delts. Now the upper back machine is just broken. I have one set on there. I'm gonna be smart and just come and nail rear delts and buys because that back pretty much toasted. I feel absolutely fried. I always know when you've just not got like, you can't get into fifth gear. Like you're pushing it, pushing it, pushing it and you just can't quite get into fifth gear. That's when I know I always need to pull back a little bit. So we'll nail rear delts still, we'll get biceps nailed and that'll be job done. Session done boys, we are on the way home. 
finished with biceps there so it's actually just crammed upstairs so i did the gym leco preacher curl two sets that one is painful mate it drops off a lot when you get short so you can just take it all the way there and honestly my biceps after i use that mate they feel absolutely toasted and then i use the seated it's not even for what i use it for i use it for the face away cable curl um but it's just bang on i absolutely love it so biceps after those four sets are absolutely smoked so that was very good toasted so in terms of a deload <coughs> the signs of a deload can obviously come from numbers stalling in the gym so it will build up we can have cns fatigue which is mentally basically just mental fatigue we can have physical fatigue obviously from just smashing sessions that's what it's a mixture of both for me like i always notice that motivation to train just dips a little bit just because purely i haven't got the same in me to go like don't just say that to yourself if you're not consistent like i absolutely love training so i know that when that happens it is actually a problem but if you're not being consistent then <laughs> It's pretty, it might not be the same problem but when motivation to train comes down and then for me i've noticed that in my checking pictures in this week i've been holding a lot of water and i think that's just due to high stress due to training fatigue i think my body is just a little bit battered so rather than dig myself an absolute hole i'm going to take four days away from training now get super super fresh because since the photo shoot that's been what seven eight weeks now of just like absolute foot on the gas like nailing everything so let's go and try and find where the hoodies are and then when we've got them we'll show you them. clothing acquired we've got box one box two and then we've got two boxes in the back <laughs> i literally got four humongous boxes full of clothes so i'm gonna get home and get them sorted because <laughs> it's gonna take me a while to sort and it's gonna take me a while to get them sent out but it's a good problem to have so let's get back now get mine on for one and then get the other one sorted happy days boys yes the boys i've just done my 15 minutes cardio and the coaching coliseum clothing is here and i'm very happy with it let's give you a sneak peek so we've got literally four big boxes in the boxes this is going to be my hoodie so the black and white is clean i did have gold but i thought black and white will be much cleaner so i'm very happy with those i just saw it the ig post because it is a cool moment that i want to be sharing and whilst i'm on here i want to give a massive shout out to some of the boys this is connor he is literally the best part of 20 kilo down and the changes are mad there's me he has done this the majority of that working on a cruise so there is no excuses boys when you want it you can do it we've got dean's back progression which is just nuts connor is a new person <laughs> that is absolutely craziness that one and then we've got brad from this morning who's absolutely smashed it as well so the boys are flying and they are going to be repping the clothing which i can't wait for and now i'm just flexing which you can stop so thank you very much for watching boys hope you enjoyed that one i will record me getting all of that sent out because i'm sure that is going to be eventful i've not really thought into that too much to be honest so <laughs> we'll see we'll see what the plan of action is but thank you for watching like i said we're nearly at 1k subscribers so please subscribe drop me a comment drop me a like and if you are interested in joining the coaching coliseum team getting coached by myself the link is always in the description so just give me your details i'll be in touch see you in the next one